Now, you're second generation in the porn industry. Well, yes, my father was in, uh, was in the adult business. I, I was born in Cleveland, and he worked, my father worked for Ruben Sturman, who was the original porn king. He's the guy who uh, invented the peep show. Okay. People would put their 25 cents in the machine, and Ruben would send his guys out, and they'd collect, collect five cents out of every quarter. He was the one who really pioneered adult distribution by having warehouses across the country. Uh, he was the guy my father was a salesman for him. Okay. And then uh, family moved out to California. My father was in the eight millimeter film business. Then that sort of evolved into uh, the video business. Uh, I worked for my father. Then I worked for another company called Calvista Video where I was the uh, national sales manager when I was 21 years old, and then uh, and then myself and my partner started Vivid in uh, 1984. So, how old were you when you started working for your dad in his adult uh, adult film company? Uh, 18. <laughs> okay, <Which> 18. <laughs> That's right, and it was sort of a family business. My father was in the the eight millimeter film business, so we sort of go in, and all of the little eight millimeter films would be there, and we package them up and put them in the boxes and, and send them out to the distributors all, all over the country. And then, like I said, then video came around and, and uh, that really changed everything. What was it like being an 18 year old in that kind of business? Well, you know, I have sort of grown up as part of the business because my father had been in it for so long. So, I mean, when, and when, when I was in Cleveland, my friends and my friends' parents, they knew that, um, you know, my, what, what my father did for a living. Uh, I remember one time when the uh, FBI came knocking at the door looking for my father when I was young, and, and my parents said, if anybody comes to the door, don't let him in. So I like, nope, nobody's here, nobody's here. But that sort of stuck with me, and my father was involved in, in many uh, um, uh, landmark obscenity cases. And uh, so I, I, I was sort of used to it, and, and nothing really shocked me. I was never really into the, I don't know, the, the actual movies and the content. I was always more sort of fascinated with behind the scenes and the distribution and, and how you could profit from the business.